when a man has learned how to do something, he wants that something to be important and needed and wanted in the world. Well, progress tends to eliminate various old necessities and replace them with new ones. And sometimes people are unwilling to change. Once upon a time, there was the occupation of buggy whip maker, for example. And I wonder how many people today make their living chipping flint points for arrows. Various professions have been eliminated, and various others will be, by automation, by other forces of society. But sometimes an individual fights back, and that can cause trouble. Who's there? Who, who is standing there? Excuse me, sir. Come forward. Out of the shadow where I can see you. Oh, yes, sir. I didn't mean to frighten you. Who are you? My name is Marison. I've never seen you before. What do you want? The robot down the highway said that I would find the owner of this dome in the garden, but I couldn't hear what else it said. It, it's rusty. Is it? I must see to it. Oh, that would really be wasted effort. You're the first visitor to this home in, must be six years, or perhaps it's seven. I've wanted the robot to tell me if this was the dome of Cran. Yes, I am Cran. Oh. Come, come, sir. Can't you see I'm wearing a very thin robe? The wind off the canals is sharp this time of evening. Oh, please don't be angry. I, I need your help. You need my help? Well, you are a doctor, aren't you? A what? Are you a doctor? My child, I am the last physician alive on all the planets of the human race. The last except for Targ, whose name you also saw on the card index. But he is senile, and he lies on his couch all day. My sister is sick up on the mountain. Yes, I believe I have the signal honor to be the last physician among the race of men. <sighs> Poor Targ, a hopeless case. He couldn't attend the ceremony that was ten years ago on my 125th birthday. Very impressive. Oh, please, please listen, Cran. My sister is sick. Thousands of people, educators, dignitaries, honoring me. The last of my kind. It's a sad thought. And it's not right. I thought it wasn't right at the time. My, my profession goes back to the beginnings of recorded time. And then suddenly we're no longer needed. Turned out to the medal and the statue and the saint. Oh, Cran, what must I do to make you understand? Let go my arm. My sister is sick with some kind of disease. It's impossible, my child. I knew you wouldn't believe me. I just knew it. Disease has been destroyed. That doesn't change the fact that my sister is lying up on the mountain with her skin hot as fire one hour, as cold as ice the next. She trembles and she moans and... Oh, Tom. Young woman, is your sister expecting a child? Oh. If so, she should report immediately to the automation hospital. There's one down the road, staffed with the finest obstetrics. There is no child. He's just sick. I refuse to believe that. Oh, all right, then. I'll go back and watch her die. Then. Wait. Wait a moment. I would help you if I could, but I haven't had a case since I was... Uh, Forty years old. There's, there's been no need. I know all that. I went to school once. Disease is an outmoded concept. Chemotherapeutics long ago rid the human strain of its infirmities. Cleanse the planets of illness. Psychotherapeutics cleanse the minds of them. To sickness is obsolete. And so all you care about is that my sister violates all your rules. Perhaps it is a well, natural death. Perhaps you should have taken her to the geriatric mortuary. We have not obliterated death, you know. And if she's quite old, perhaps it's time for her to go to the machine. My sister's 28 years old. Oh, I see. How far is the city? Maybe if I go there, I can find someone who won't laugh at me. Wait. Please, come inside. So that you can joke with me again? Be silent. Come inside. <laughs> A little light, please. Pass your hand along the wall of the dome. There, that's better. Now, now sit down. Oh, I'm going to the city. If I find someone there... Oh, will you be silent? I'm trying to help you if I can. I don't know what I can do. It's been many years, but I'll try. Now, sit down. All right. How long has your sister been in this condition? For eight days. What are the, um... I've forgotten the words, uh... Ah, uh, uh, yes. 
the symptoms. Well, she's hot and cold in turn. She she doesn't recognize me. Oh, she coughs and coughs. Good heavens. What's wrong? It sounds like some sort of primitive illness. At the end of my practice, my last patient was a complex of neurogeriatric syndrome. I studied nothing but multiple ills. And then when the last of those were wiped out by the new drugs and the new techniques, why, I simply had to quit. But a primitive disorder. I've bothered you for nothing. What do you mean? I'm going to try, certainly. What good will that do? My child, I am a physician, and it is my duty to try. That much I remember. Come now. I think my unicar is still working. You'll have to direct me to the mountain to your sister. The man has really forgotten his trade. He can still feel terrible resentment. <laughs> Hydropic sheds up here because he disliked the city. Yes. And when he died, we had to stay here because we didn't know any other place to make a living. Uh, we're here. Open the door quick, Oh, Put on the light. We don't have atomics, just a small generator for electricity. Well, that doesn't have to do. Now, let me have a look at her. Oh, oh. oh yes, you are right. Her skin is burning. Oh, Neela. Neela, can you hear me? I brought a physician. Oh, it's no use. She. Um, oh, I've forgotten the simplest words. What is it? What is it? Oh, yes, now it comes back to me. She's delirious. Oh. Bring the table closer. Now, do you know how to load one of these viewers? I'll try. Now, set the viewer on the table. The text on the film, if I remember rightly, contains close to a million diagnostic patterns. Now, just get the spool onto the sprockets. Oh, I, I think I see how to do it. Now, young woman. Neela, that's your name, isn't it? Oh. Open your mouth for me. Come now, open it. Yeah, that's better. Mm-hmm. Now, open your eyes. And I'll have to do it myself. There. The pulse. Now, where's the pulse? The arm. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. Lower. Ah. The text is on the viewer. All right. I'll call the symptoms myself. Do you know what's wrong? Can you help us? To answer your first question, no, I don't know what's wrong. Oh. To answer your second I will only know whether I can help her if the viewer finds a diagnosis for me after I call the symptoms. Now, if there is medication prescribed with a diagnosis, and if by chance I still have that medication in my kit, there might be a chance. Oh, why did it have to happen to her? Why, indeed. The learned men of all planets would doubtless be curious to know the answer also. Here, yeah, let me sit that down at the view. Let's see. First, the symptom. Fever. Second symptom, inflammation of the throat cavity. Third symptom, advanced olfactory congestion. In a moment, we should have the answer, if there is one contained in this text. This last key, there. Great heavens! What's wrong? Can't you see the card? It's from the last appendix of the text. Antique maladies. Let's see what it says. Yes. All the symptoms are exact. The cause is a virus. There's the code name right there. The proper agent, let's see, at the bottom of the card, chemotherapeutic number 411009. Open the kit quickly. Oh, what was the nominality? 41100. Oh, yes. It is here. 009. Two of them, two of the tablets. Give them to your sister. Neela, please do as I ask. You open your mouth. That's right. Now take these tablets. Oh, that's right. And, and swallow. Oh, that's fine, Neela. And now you rest, dear. And you'll be better soon. 
Please stand aside. What are you going to do with that? This hypodermic, I want a sample of your sister's body fluid. What for? Give me a quantity of the virus to enable me to duplicate the virus in my own laboratory. What's wrong with you? Oh, your face, it looks so different now. Viruses were virtually destroyed a long time ago, but perhaps immunity has weakened in 300 years. Perhaps if the cause were there again and the immunity was not... Don't you touch her with that needle! Please stand back, my child. I have helped your sister. A small quantity of blood in this turn is a fair exchange. It's not right that we should be dismissed with a medal and a statue. It's not fair. I'll make myself the scapegoat if necessary. Take the blame for spreading the disease. That's all right. I am an old man. But I'll have made it possible for others after me to practice medicine once more. The virus may mutate, develop new strains, immunity may be gone. Stand back. A few cc's of fluid in this little chamber and there'll be disease again and physicians to heal. You get away from me. Get back, I warn you. If I must use violence, I can still find strength. You stay away. You stay away. You force me to this. <laughs> Tired from his business. It's one thing to know that the business is still going on, that the business itself has not been retired. But somehow, it's a much deeper hurt to have the business itself cease to exist. If only that business hadn't stopped, that he could feel that something of his business was going on. I think that's what's bothering the ex doctor. You. My sister died during the night. I'm sorry. You're not sorry at all. You must understand. I couldn't stay with you. I left you there unconscious. I knew you'd come around soon enough. But my sister died. I did what I could. I gave the prescribed medication. It's lucky I had some of it at all. The virus must have been too strong. The immunity factor down to nil. And that's why I came. To ask whether I will contact the disease. It's possible. And could pass it on to others? I wouldn't allow myself over that. I'd be making my own plans. And that's why you took the blood? Of course. Do you think that this particular virus is widespread? I am sure it isn't. This one case must be pure accident. I told you that the virus, as a cause of infection, like all causes of physical and mental illness, was totally counteracted all years ago. And that's why I was given the medal and the statue. Because they didn't need me for my kind. But they will again and soon. Oh, I've never had much education, but this idea of yours, it just isn't decent. Oh, no? You'd bring sickness to people just to carry on a tradition. Not a tradition. The noblest tradition in the history of the human race. A tradition of comfort, of healing. Of leading sick minds and bodies back to hell. But that was accomplished years ago. You said so yourself. Yes, but uh, it's not right, that's all. Not when so much has been given and sacrificed for the good of mankind. What you plan to do is not for the good of mankind. I won't listen to you anymore. What you plan to do violates everything that's right. A doctor is supposed to heal, to cure. I didn't do so very well with your sister, did I? For that, I can forgive you. You said yourself it was a rare case. Perhaps it will strike me and I will die. And then it will never happen again. But to set out to create disease... Get out of this laboratory, you, you little wretch. You stand before other doctors and look them in the face and say, I'm doing this for you, making others ill so that you can be doctors again. There are no doctors except Targ and he's senile. I am the last. And you are very old and something's happened to your I mind. I warn you, leave this storm immediately. Not before I destroy whatever you took from my sister. You see this? A laboratory torch. See the blue flame? It burns. I will burn you if you come a step close. Just destroy what you took from my sister. That's all I ask. Not a step nearer. If you don't, I'll destroy you and myself and this whole place. You're a fool. I know it. And I'm not very old or well-educated, but 
I may be a better position than you are. I told you to stand back. I'll burn you. Is that it, the large flask thing? Don't touch it. Watch out, old man. Your bones move slowly. Let's go. Let's let go. There she is. Oh, old man. I'll kill you. I'll blast you with the torch. You miss me. Stand still. Stand still. You set fire to the wall. Come back. Don't hide that way. Come out from behind there. Now there's no chance for you to create your new diseases. Now, which way? Slim, stop me. You die with me. I know, but I don't care. This is not why I am the last doctor. The tradition must be carried on. They gave me a medal, a statue. It's not right. It's not right. Not right. Looking for a more secure and stable world in the future. I'm afraid you're in for unhappiness and disappointment. The world of the future is going to obey the ancient law. Change. Learn. Find a new and better way. Because the old way always turns out to be a little inadequate. There is nothing that's perfect. I... Let's go to work and find a better one. It's the whole point of progress. To do a better job than we've ever done before. And you know, when an occupation, when a profession, when a tradition dies, it served a purpose. The purpose does not die. That goes on. And that's what the old doctor didn't recognize. The purpose was to serve human life. And that went on. And always will. 